Hello, my name is Chris New and I'm an Applications Engineer for the Power Modules team at Wolfspeed. Today, we'll be discussing our 25 kilowatt three-phase inverter reference design. It's centered around our 1200 volt, 21 milliohm, six-pack FM3 Wolfspeed Wolfpack power module, complete with pre-applied thermal interface material, or TIM. Before getting started, we recommend that you visit wolfspeed.com and download the reference design user guide. There, you'll also find all TIM design files, Gerber files, schematic PDFs, bill of materials, and graphical user interfaces that will provide specific pertinent technical information. Wolfspeed developed this design as a comprehensive package to support early silicon carbide design in activities and to enable engineers to quickly evaluate performance. This design uses a simple three-phase inverter topology, which is ideal for scaling to higher power levels in industrial motor drives, power supplies, and renewable energy applications. It can also be used as the bi-directional active front end stage for electric vehicle fast charging. This particular design operates with a nominal 800 volt input DC bus and can drive three-phase systems up to 480 volts and 30 amps at up to 100 kilohertz switching frequency. The circuit is designed as an air-cooled DC to AC design and includes all the control peripherals and feedback measurements required to start using this hardware immediately. You will just need to access an external 12-volt source, which you attach using the barrel jack connector. Notably, this design uses a single six-pack power module rather than multiple half-bridge modules or discrete devices. This allows you to simultaneously assemble all switch positions and generate the required three-phase output. The power module used for this design is the 21 milliohm Wolfspeed Wolfpack. It features a base plate list package with an integrated ceramic substrate and pre-applied Honeywell TIM. Without a base plate, the thermal resistance of this power module is lower than similarly sized power modules that do have base plates due to the reduced material in the cooling path. Selecting a Wolfpack module with the pre-applied TIM can lower the junction temperature by up to 40 degrees Celsius or increase the current by up to 60% compared to using standard thermal grease. Additionally, because of the integrated ceramic isolation, this power module can be attached directly to a common heat sink without requiring additional layers such as sill pads. The module attaches to the circuit board quickly and easily using press fit technology. It's simply pressed into the circuit board creating a corrosion resistant and electrically robust bond. This design is air cooled and requires a single fan to operate the system at full power. Notably, the heatsink used in this reference design was specifically characterized while attached to the circuit board in order to provide an accurate thermal model of the entire system. All thermal measurements are included in the user guide and can be used to populate simulations to better predict performance. For closed loop control algorithms, this design features several feedback signals which can be paired together or used individually depending on your specific target application. First, each phase output of the inverter includes a dedicated LEM Hall effect current transducer for measuring the output currents. These can be used in the control loop or for fault detection of overload events using the onboard logic detection. Second, the circuit includes the hardware for directly measuring the DC input voltage using a differential measurement to safely monitor the high input voltage. Third, the hardware includes differential voltage measurements for monitoring the output phase voltages. The differential configuration of these measurements allows them to be connected as either line to line or line to neutral measurements. Fourth, the circuit includes connections to attach a resolver for monitoring the mechanical position and speed of a rotating load such as a motor. Fifth, the hardware includes a substrate temperature measurement, which monitors the negative temperature coefficient or NTC sensor included on the power module. This measurement can be used to monitor the substrate temperature of the module during operation. More information about all of these feedback measurements can be found in the user guide. Now, let's take a look at the simple hookup requirements to begin evaluating the Wolfpack module in this reference design. Before making any connection to the circuit, ensure that all parts of the system and equipment are de-energized. This de-energized check should similarly be validated before modifying or removing the circuit. To prepare the system for high power operation, connect the DC input to these two terminals. And connect the AC load to these three terminals.
These connections are also indicated in the silk screen right on the printed circuit board. Today, we'll be connecting the circuit board to a fixed inductive load inside one of our dedicated test racks. This will enable us to evaluate the module at full voltage and current without requiring significant power from the grid. The load for today's setup uses inductors from Worth Electronic connected in a Y configuration. The oscilloscope will measure time domain waveforms, and a power analyzer will determine metrics such as system losses. Using a USB cable allows you to interface directly with the control card to upload firmware for operating the design open loop using sign pulse width modulation. Since this design employs an off-the-shelf control card, you can customize the firmware to evaluate system performance under different operating conditions and control schemes. In addition to the input and output connections, the design includes a variety of hardware options to allow you to customize the design to fit your own unique application requirements. For starters, the design includes several spare analog to digital converter and general purpose input output header pins. Users can use these to add sensors and peripherals to directly interface with the onboard controller. Next, the design includes provisions to drive high current external relays for applications such as controlling external safety logic or enabling pre-charged circuitry. And third, the design includes multiple controllable LEDs for custom diagnostics and troubleshooting. To interface directly with the circuit during high power testing, the design includes an isolated control area network connector, which is commonly called a CAN connector. Through this robust and reliable communication protocol, users can make software adjustments and monitor feedback signals in real time. Thanks to the fact that this connector can interface directly and safely with a computer through a CAN hardware adapter. Each switch position for this power module has a dedicated isolated gate driver with separate turn on and turn off resistors. The separate resistors, which can easily be changed, are used to individually tune the turn on and turn off dynamics. Also that you can tune the turn on and turn off dynamics to understand how the device will ultimately operate in the end application. The high peak current output of the isolated gate driver circuits enables this design to operate at high switching frequencies of up to 100 kilohertz. Each of the switch positions includes a dedicated MMCX connector that will allow for direct measurements of the gate voltages. This can be accomplished by using isolated probes such as the Tektronix ISOVU series of oscilloscope probes. At this point, the low voltage controller and peripherals are prepared to be powered on by the 12 volt barrel jack connector. Now, with the proper connections in place, the system is ready for testing. At this point, we'll transition to our equipment test rack, which will enable us to evaluate the system safely at elevated voltage. On screen, we can remotely monitor and adjust the oscilloscope, power analyzer, input DC power supply, thermal camera, and the custom CAN graphical user interface, or GUI. As touched on earlier, this interface directly communicates with the controller to enable remote changes and monitoring of the reference design. Here, you can adjust the dead time, switching frequency, and modulation factor while simultaneously monitoring the temperature feedback signal from the circuit. The custom WOSPI GUI is readily available on WOSPI.com. Plus, you can modify that GUI or the underlying controller firmware to add yet more functionality. As you can see, the system is operating at 800 volts and 20 amps RMS with a low power loss. Now, I'm changing the modulation factor in real time to increase the output current to 25 amps RMS. Naturally, the thermals will increase at this point. A silicon-only converter would not be able to operate under these conditions. This definitely demonstrates the advantages of silicon carbide compared to ordinary silicon. As you can see, you can go from unboxing to testing at high power very quickly. A Plexum Plex simulation is also available for download. The simulation is configured to mimic the experimental validation setup at WolfSpeed. You can either use it to evaluate the hardware before purchasing it, or as a tool to evaluate the Wolfpack module itself. By default, the simulation is configured to operate open loop with signed pulse width modulation although it can also easily be modified to support complex closed loop control algorithms. And if you ever need more information on how to use this simulation, you'll find plenty of in-depth details including the user guide for this design. Best of all, getting started is easy. Just go to wolfspeed.com wolfpack.